What's going on guys? It's Valence from back in the video and today I found something so cool that might help you guys out with your videos or anything of that sort. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. With that said, let's hop into the video. Today's video is going to be about converting any sorts of frame rate videos to something else. This portion of the video is sponsored by CDK Offers. They offer the best keys on the marketplace and they sell Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for a huge discount. If you guys purchase the key, make sure you guys use code VA20 for 20% off. You guys will get the key instantly and all you got to do is copy the key and you guys will be ready to redeem it. Check out CDK Offers in the link in the description below. So for example, so if you guys saw my previous video, I had Call of Duty Cold War gameplay and that was actually recorded in 30 frames per second. And I used this program and I used this program called Dane and I used this AI technology and it predicts the frames that are missing. So from 30 to 60, it guesses the frames in between with machine learning and AI and all that stuff and it spits out a 60 FPS video. So it's really cool and it actually worked out pretty well. I don't know if you guys could tell in the video last week, but that was actually converted from 30 to 60 and it looked really nice. It looked like it was recorded in 60. So what we have is the Dane app right over here. We have Call of Duty, my gameplay from the PS4, recorded straight from the PS4, no capture card, 30 FPS, 720p, disgusting. And then we have the Dane app over here and the spit out version, which is in 60 FPS. So right here, we're gonna have a comparison on screen right now. So here's the 30 FPS gameplay. Spy plane standing by. Spy plane established. And compared to the 60 FPS gameplay. Here they are side by side. As you guys can tell, it's a pretty big difference. But you guys are gonna need pretty strong hardware if you guys are gonna be converting really, really long footage like me. I think the Call of Duty gameplay was around like 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes. So it took a pretty long time. And I have pretty decent hardware. So if you guys want to do it, this is how you do it. So you download the Dane app. All you guys got to do is Google it. Or if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. And once you guys have it, all you do is open it and scroll all the way down to the Dane app.exe. You guys are going to see this black window. And then finally you will see the interface. So before this, they had this command line interface and it was like pretty confusing, but they created this thingy. So then it will be so much easier for you guys to use. So you guys can support them on Patreon or share your results on Discord. So you can import your videos or PNG sequence. And here's where you input the file. So you put in your 30 FPS gameplay right over here. And then you select M export as MP4 or whatever you guys want. And then here are the options. So if it's a cartoon or if it's real life, you choose which one. So since it was gameplay, I chose real life or 3D. And then I chose the default and I just left everything and I made it output to 60 FPS. And then once I was finished, I clicked on perform all steps. Then it split the video into frames and then they use the frames to guess what's missing. And then finally, it takes all those frames and converts it into a video. So for me, it took around over 12 hours, surprisingly. I thought it was going to take like maybe like one or two hours, but it actually took a long time. So if you guys want to try this out, I'll have the link in the description below if I remember. And I hope you guys can use this and make some cool things. And I hope this helped you guys out. If, you, if it did, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.